Hello, and welcome to Cooking with Ed. I'm your host, Ed Newhouse. The special Independence Day episode of Cooking with Ed, and what's more American than quesadillas? Today we're making a, a, a Mexican favorite. Um, that there's a lot of different ways you can make it. A lot of, you can you can microwave it. You can fry it. Uh, well, by the fact I mentioned it, you can tell I'm going to microwave it. So let's get started here. Uh, first, you got to grab your plate and your flour tortilla. You got to put the flour tortilla. All right, we're, we're going to do two of these at a time. You can, that's as many as you need as you can make at a time. You're going to take two tortillas and put them on the plate, and I'll show you how I'm doing this. So watch how I do this here. We got two tortillas here, and you're going to stack them in the middle so that they uh, kind of fold like that in the middle. There we go. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. There we go. Okay. So you got that right there, and then we're going to put some... Mexican taco cheese that I got from Food Lion. Oh, you notice my uh, got a uh, pizza cutter there in the sink that you can see. Oh yeah, as I'm putting in this Mexican taco cheese, one thing about that pizza cutter there. Um, uh, oh yeah, easy way to clean those that I've learned. Uh, so after you're done making a pizza, uh, and you got you know before you go and eat your delicious pizza, uh, you you go you take the uh, Pizza cutter and run it through water. You don't have to cook, you don't have to wash it. Just run it through water so that uh, next time when you do feel like washing it, you um, you know it's all it's essentially already done. Okay, so what we're done with the cheese here is what you, you get one layer so that it essentially gets all the way to the top here. See like that, and a little bit more there, and just fall over. Yeah, I'm doing this with one hand, so it's a lot messier than it normally would be, but. There we go. Okay. And so what else are we going to put in our uh, quesadilla today? Chicken. And there's one thing is, uh, I've tried grilling, or I've tried frying the chicken for these quesadillas myself before. But the problem is that it's so much work, and it isn't really worth the work. So I just get the pre-cooked stuff. This stuff is already cooked through. And so that way it'll all go on. Now, evidently, I'm almost out of chicken. I thought I had more than I, than I do, but I guess I, I used it all up the other day. But um, let's just put a little bit of chicken, as much as you have. Be a lot easier if I had both ones. Okay, there's that. All right, so now we've got that folded over like so, and like that, and now we're gonna put it in the microwave. I'm gonna explain why I'm using the microwave here in a second. Put that in there, and we'll put that in there for a minute and a half. Yeah. Okay, so while that's cooking, we're gonna explain talk a little bit about so you can actually see my my face here uh, I'm gonna talk about why I'm using the microwave instead of a, a frying pan so I've tried using the frying pan before and I've made quesadillas and it's not like it didn't taste bad it's just the thing I realized with the frying pan for quesadillas which is I imagine how they do it in Mexican restaurants I don't know I'm not a Mexican restaurant I'm just one person but um the reason I think the reason I do the microwave for this instead of the frying pan is because uh, it's a lot harder to do it in the frying pan it's a lot harder to do it right in the frying pan Next, in, in the microwave, it's kind of hard to screw it up. It doesn't taste as good, but it's kind of hard to screw it up. You can't really, it's not, you're not going to burn it. And, uh, yeah, so that's why I normally, that's, that's the thing about using the microwave. Overall, not just quesadillas, uh, it doesn't burn it, which is the plus. And, but it doesn't taste as good. But so I'm willing to forego the, the, the loss in taste. Anyhow, now we're just waiting on that to finish. Uh, oh yeah, so yeah, when you're, you're when you're cooking here on the, on the frying pan, uh, advantage is doing that. Uh, the outside is crispier, uh, and you can get a little butter. You can put it in the pan, and you get the little buttery taste on the like, outside. But this, you don't have that. This is the microwave doesn't make it very crispy, but you essentially the reason I'm eating the quesadilla is not for the tortilla part. It's for the cheese and the chicken that they do have. Oh, let's get some chicken right here. Now, ooh, that is hot. Let's see here. I want to show you this. You know it's done when one, two, th yeah. You look on the inside, cheese is all melted. Cheese is all melted, that means we're done. So, I was setting the camera back down and I accidentally turned it off. So anywho, uh, this is our finished product. Let's see how it tastes. That's fantastic. Thanks for watching Cooking With Ed. 
I've been your host at Newhouse. Goodbye.